This is a thought for the day from Jill, which I'm reading on her behalf. As we enter another new year, may I wish you peace, contentment and God's blessings. I know for many it's a relief to enter this new year, and the positive knowledge that we have these two vaccines is a great comfort and will be a huge help in killing off this wicked virus which has caused the death of so many loved ones. But whatever we feel about 2020, we have lived through it and it's part of our personal history. Indeed, part of the whole world's history. It cannot be written off and so many things were not of our making but of Covid's. So often we've not been allowed to meet with family or friends, but we have been able to have phone conversations with them, and Zoom meetings, and we found ourselves phoning people we didn't know very well, and now we know them much better because of Covid. Those of us lucky enough to have gardens, balconies and window boxes have spent many happy hours tending them because we have had more free time. And the environment has benefited from less pollution because of fewer aeroplanes and less traffic because of Covid. And we've had the time to stand and stare and listen to the wonders of God's amazing creation. Christmas certainly had its differences this year. But the first Christmas too was very simple and humble. I'm sure we were much better fed and warmer than those dear ones in Bethlehem in their one-star accommodation. Because of Covid, so many people have become well known through their creative, generous endeavours to help others to focus on positive activities and certainly not because they were celebrities in any way. So in the words of that dear amazing Captain Sir Tom Moore, let's hope tomorrow will be a good day. And in his song with Michael Ball, you'll never walk alone. We know we won't, because our ever faithful, ever listening, ever loving Father God will always be with us and so will his dear Son, Jesus Christ.